love wind down, bro. It's me, y'all. It's Mackett. Wind down is me. I want to quit my job. Come support me. That's right, Mackett. Yo, she Dad. said wind down is her show. <laughs> it is. I like the star. Yo, you this is, yo, you really. I'm like the star. I like that though, Mackett. Spare fingers, sprinkle McDingle. Spare fingers. And now they're going to call me gay after they kick me out it's the black right. community. I'll be not they gonna call me gay. for you. I know. Nah, we're going to get Nah, gang. That was a whole gay situation <laughs> right there, bro. Like, anyway, shout out to the young black girl that got out of that kidnapping um, situation. You bet him? Oh, I like her. Yeah, she okay, said, yeah, I, I bet that nigga got him all ball for me, boy. Yo, and they caught him, right? Yeah, they caught lock, him. Yeah, lock his ass up. Yeah, Look at her. Bite market, everything. Look, just like her daddy, she ain't going for it. Mm -mm. You bet him? A six-year-old girl escaped her alleged would-be kidnapper after she bit his arm and ran for help. According to WTVJ, Leonardo Venegas, 32, tried to take the girl from a Miami apartment complex courtyard. The girl told investigators from a Miami from J. Leonardo Venegas. His name is Leonardo Venegas. Venegas. Yo, Venegas is bugging. <laughs> Yo, look at Leonardo Venegas looking oh, like a. <laughs> Looking like he was in a rock group in the 80s. And he got the nerve. Yo, zero win right here while I got the while I got the uh, point at game. This nigga got the audacity, right? To have a hoop earring with the cross in it. This why niggas don't be trusting Christians now, gang. Yo, Leonardo over niggas got the hoop earring with the cross in it. With the hoop earring on the other side. He look like he might be transgender. That nigga mustache ain't really. I don't, I'm not. I'm not going there. But nevertheless, Leonardo was very unsuccessful. The young lady put the work in on him. Let's get to it. Vegas 32 tried to take the girl from a Miami apartment complex courtyard. The girl told investigators she was playing outside with her siblings when they went back inside and left her alone. Just moments later, it's Venegas allegedly Leonardo grabbed DiCaprio. the girl and attempted to take her into his vehicle when she bit him back. What'd you do to that guy? I bit him. You bit him? Yeah. And where'd you learn to do that? From your mom? You bite him hard? No. No. Surveillance video shows him running back to his vehicle, which police were later able to identify after he drove past a license plate reader. Jail records indicate Venegas is being held on kidnapping and child abuse charges. Bet. You bet him? A six year old girl escaped her alleged would be kidnapper after she bit who, his arm. Who and ran for with help. the the VDA? Look at Leonardo his, Venegas, look at his outfit to come to a kidnapping. The apartment complex courtyard. The girl told investigators she was playing outside with this nigga kidnap outfit, gang. Yo, look at my nigga kidnap outfit, gang. In Miami, who? Look at his kidnap outfit. Look how he walking inside and left her alone. Just moments later, Venegas allegedly grabbed the girl and attempted to take her into his vehicle when she bit him back. What'd you do to that guy? I bit him. Yo. You bit him? Yeah. yeah, I had to take a, I had to take a bite out of crown real quick. Really? Hey, yo. Like, I think he was watching the, her and her siblings play because they said her siblings ran in the house real fast. Probably to grab something to come back, like, oh, hold up, we're going to get this, we're going to play with this. And she sat out there. And he's like, oh, she all alone. Let me get her. Like, nah, my mom told me to bite, bitch. Yo, I guess the reason I'm even comfortable talking like is like, cause it's not, it's unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. it, it, it didn't happen. Like she escaped yeah. and it's like, I right, and, and they got that nigga. They locked yeah. his ass the fuck up. Yeah. But like when I'm, when I'm thinking is like. They wouldn't even think cause probably is a norm for them to play outside in front of their complex. Oh, I'm about to run in here and get this. She probably didn't want to go. Like, no, I'm outside. Mommy told her to stop running in and out the house. Yo. And it's sad to say that, but... What do you have to train your kids for in this world right now? Everything. Bye-bye, shooting. Kidnapping. I see you, look, you looking for no, cigarettes. I got, I got Oh, one. I got cigarettes over here. Yeah. Um, you said drive-by shootings and kids. Yeah, they they should have gave like, him that door dash beat down. That's what I'm saying. He should have got that door dash beat down, gay. Okay? Fi fi having fires, everything. Like right now, um, I think I think kidnapping was really prominent. It's been prominent from back in the days. 
but the media is showing and exposing it, so now you're more aware. Yeah, kidnap is probably happy. It's always been perverse and pedophile, yeah. so yeah. That too, you have one your kids about pedophiles. Don't teach them. Oh, this is your cookie. Nah, but what I'm saying is, how many people is vagina. how many people is doing that shit? So how many people is so you always hear about little girls going through shit and being afraid to speak up. Mm-hmm. Little boys as well at a certain age, yes. right? So, like. How many people actually are talking to their kids about this? How many people are actually knowing how the world is, right? Yeah. Saying, I'm like, saying, ahead I, of time, like, look, listen, can't nobody beat me. me. Look, you telling your daughter, and can't nobody beat me. I know if somebody do something to you and tell you they going to kill me, if you tell me, they lying. They just want to get away with it. Hey, yo, if a motherfucker get with him arms in for you and, and you don't know who he is, like, run off. Like what, like, what are we telling them? Like, how, like, what could you tell your daughter... To it, like, whenever a stranger come in, come in the house, like, be scared of stranger. Like, what, like, what are we like? I know that don't get. I wouldn't want to get in the car with strange niggas. So you definitely should tell your kids that shit. But I, a lot of times when 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 when, when kids when shit be happening to kids, bro, it's like we don't be minding our kids and we be giving our kids a lot of responsibilities. Like I've seen it more actually with white kids. So I be watching some shit. And the white mother would be like, oh, I just, he was eight years old, but I just let him walk down to the store. It's only two blocks away. And he didn't come right back, and he usually come back, and then I. It's comfortability in your neighborhood. It's comfortability in your neighborhood. neighborhood. But how much of it, how much of it is laziness? A lot, because you could have walked with your kids to the store. Because what was you doing in the house? Drinking wine? Or just knowing that your kid is vulnerable yeah, and they're not ready right. yet. So in the wild, right? Like we humans and our society is more put together. We got police. But we know that this shit does happen, right? So you know that kids get kidnapped and there are pedophiles out there and shit like that, right? In any neighborhood, at any time, should your eight-year-old be walking two or three blocks to the store? Is that I'm just asking. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it's a black thing or white. Right. Both parties do it. I've seen more white people, but like as parents in general or any color, like no. should we get comfortable doing that type shit? No, we should not, but Yeah, they can, kids will walk to school in groups. But, not by but sometimes child. shit happens when kids are walking to school too. But most, like, most parents is like, nah, I'm not walking like, oh, nigga, you go to... It, that's what I'm saying. Like, is that a sacrifice? So, say you like, yo, if my kid walk to school for the next four years, yo, I'm going to tell y'all some shit, right? One time, Deuce had to go to a bus stop at like what five thirty? Yes. And it used to be dark as a Y'all motherfucker. Used to be there every day. I make his said it. So I figured to myself, and Deuce was probably like twelve or thirteen at that point. Oh no! Like you don't walk down there by yourself, not even one time. If I ain't driving you down there, we gonna walk down there together. And I'm going to wait all the way till the bus come. Or till I see the bus right there. So at times when the bus come down here, I start the car up. Because sometimes, Deuce ain't want to wait in the car. Like the other kids be out there and shit. Yeah. But it was far. In order for her to get into At a max, it'd be like three or four kids that was at that stop. So By it, themselves. Yeah. No adults. No adults. And... It, is, it was a like a, it was start, a little walk from live. where we lived at. No, when do start, I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. Shit. And I'll be the only parent. Now, bear in mind, I used to think sometimes like, yo, where's the other parents? Like, you, what if I was a creep? Like, like what? If, like, 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 like you, like none of those other parents would even know who the fuck I was if they pulled up. And I think the kids felt more comfortable with you. Yeah, the, at, the kids felt comfortable understanding that juice because it was times yeah. I let everybody wait in the car when oh, it was cold. Yeah. So when it was cold, I'm like, everybody get in the car. He don't be chilling. Yep. Yeah. And then one of them end up missing the boy. Remember they had to search out for him for missing the little boy. They did. Yeah. Oh, but he he had ran away or some right, shit, right? Yeah. yeah, he had ran away and he was like in the street. And then it was the big girl. It was like the big like she was yeah. big as shit. But and even she was, she was young. One. She was the youngest one, and, but. 
she could have still been vulnerable. So my question is like, yo, what are the rules and regulations for what we let our children do and what we blame parents for? Like, if your kid, like, if your kid has to walk, if your kid got to leave the crib at 5.30 in the morning, right? And you know how it, at sometimes in some seasons, 5.30 could be darker than a motherfucker, right? As a parent, how are you supposed to handle that? Nigga, if I got to be to work at 6, I'm going to be late every day. Period. Nah, my daughter got to go to school. I'm sorry. I don't know what could happen. So I could be watching her, uh, watching her and knowing her schedule. She's taking the same fucking trip. She, like, she can't, she walk this way. That's a longer walk. Anyway, he going to know. Like, oh, this day, she, she switching it up. I know her routes. Oh, yeah, that's how they say they do. They That's probably why he wasn't, he just ran up in there on some bugged out shit. But a lot of times, those niggas be watching the kids, stalking the kids, and going through that. Watch her for so, two weeks, and they're like, oh, this day, now she's switching up this way. Like, mm -hmm. it's a route that she, if I don't see her this way, I can catch her this way. And, I'm and, gonna be at that bus stop with my child. And let's keep this in mind right here, gang, right? She, she rescued herself. A six-year-old. You I better. Bet a six-year-old girl escaped her alleged would-be kidnapper after she bit his arm and ran for help. According to WTVJ, Leonardo Venegas, 32, tried to take the girl from a Miami apartment complex courtyard. The girl told investigators she was playing outside with her siblings when they went back inside and left her alone. Just moments later, Venegas allegedly grabbed the girl and attempted to take her into his vehicle when she bit him back. What'd you do to that guy? I bit him. You bit him? Yeah. And where'd you learn to do that? From my mom. From your mom? You bite him hard? No. Surveillance video shows him running back to his vehicle, which police were later able to identify after he drove past a license plate reader. Jail records indicate Venegas is being held on kidnapping and child abuse charges. Yo, you bet him? A six-year-old... How ugly could that have been? He would have got him. How he got her, man. They would have blamed the parents. At no point would I want my six-year-old child defending themselves, defending defending the grown person off. He seemed kind of spooky with it when he was walking, like stumbling and shit. He might have been drunk and like, yo, bro, man, that shit could have went so fucking bad. I like yo, bro, like, but I do feel like that parents is like. Mad lax with their kids nowadays. That's a sad story. It's parents that's mad lax with their kids nowadays, bro. And it's mad shit happening. You go in any black household, they watching the kidnapping, crazy murder shit, ah, ah, ah. And you just like feeling like you in a world where nothing can happen like, to you. It can't happen to my kids. It can't happen to me or whatever. Oh, this ain't going to happen. This just happens on, on oh, oh, YouTube. Suburban areas. Not happening. I was... And then we start to complain like, oh, they don't, they don't promote it. They don't tell us that oh, all the girls that's missing. Like, look, protect your neighborhood. Like, like, like Aboriginal King said, right? Like, where was the DoorDash beatdown that homie got in the last segment, right? For that dude. Yo, parents, maybe we could start doing this. At a minimum, if your child is under a certain age, if they're going to be playing outside, get your ass off that reality TV show. Get your ass off that game. Get your ass you off that is, phone it's, and it's sit a, your ass outside it's and a, watch it's, them I think play. It's a, uh, what I would say, like a, uh, I would say a culture thing. So, so they used to go outside playing. It, Mm -hmm. While people in the kitchen cooking, doing what they doing, doing. what they doing, yeah. And it's like, okay. Project I, shit. I, like, all like, like, houses too. So, I can't say yeah. that. Let me, um, get, nah, let me get, let me get, let me get some ice and get my all drink. All the areas man. too, even suburban areas, you so used to your kids being safe. And even back in the days, they really wasn't safe. It's just your neighborhood wasn't picked. It wasn't somebody there to like watch, like um, what I would say, like boring your children or something, whatever it was. But it's not safe, and it's sad to say, no, you don't want your kids. On a fucking game all day or on watching TV all day. But sometimes it's good. We don't even have um the old ladies, the nosy old fucking grandmothers that be outside just complain, complaining about the kids. 
Like, look, look at this soul. little, look at this motherfucker Jadarius, or look up, look at Malcolm out there acting foolish. <laughs> like, we don't have that no more. We don't have the old lady sitting on the porch because the grandmothers are younger now. I'm sorry, and I'm happy not to be a young grandmother. Put that out there. Um, but, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I'm not sitting outside. It's too fucking hot. I'm inside. I don't even feel old. I feel young as fuck. Like, I don't care. But, um, we don't have oh, the real elderly now sitting outside watching. Those are the real babysitters. You get all the news from the elderly because I remember getting news from my grandmother about me. Like, what? Would you say, bro, facts go outside with them? I mean, if you we worried about that. shit like we that, don't bro. We have people watching our neighborhoods. The elderly was really the neighborhood watch for us. Yo, holy shit, yo. How many black people would be willing to put, like, say you live in a neighborhood, you live in tenement buildings, right? It's a thousand people in there. How many people would be able to, how many people would want to put a kitty together, like a group funding, and just put $5 a month for dudes to, like, you read about the police and what they're going to do, hire the official dude from your neighborhood, the police, the neighborhood. Like, all right, yo, make sure nothing happened with the kids. The kids getting this shit doing this happening, this yeah, happening. Yeah. They crossing the street. They doing all this. Like, once upon... Like, they talk about the Black Panthers and these different groups. They did that. Like, one of the things the Black Panthers did, I think a black kid got hit by a car. That was one of the things they did. And them niggas, I think they put up their own stop sign or they did a light, some crazy yeah. shit like that. It was something, but we used to have people... Yeah, that, that would no, be a good no, idea. No, we used to have people doing shit neighbor. like that. So it was like a lot of coming up. It was a lot. Of, I'm not saying that it's okay, but I'm sorry. The drug dealers was our babysitters. Like, what the fuck is you doing out here? That's a what fact. The fuck that, yo, like, yeah, that's how like, I grew bro, up like that what too. You doing out here? And once I became Get your a, ass in the house. Once I became a drug dealer, and yo, make it, I always point this out. Yeah. Like, so just they randomly, outside, right? Outside, they right. watching, they observing the just, environment. And I, but I be mad, uncomfortable talking to her like this. Make it, how long would you say that it's been since I really was a drug dealer, since I sold drugs? Hopefully, a very long time. Like, at least four or five years, maybe? Yeah. All right, so I don't sell drugs now. Cool. I, like, that shit four is a... Five years? That shit, at least for... I think about maybe... uh, Because I'm a deuce was still in yeah. high school, and she wasn't a senior. She wasn't. And, you know what I'm saying? Like... Okay, yeah. Well, and remember, I she... And the day she, that she told you how you feel... You well, how like, she feel, yeah. She how she feel was like I ain't uh, stopped like right, right then away. And there. We we um you know what we can accurately pinpoint it because you remember it was the the shit with the girl oh and yeah. yeah that was the very beginning of COVID, COVID. The, at, damn so been like three years <sighs> I right, three years so from the very beginning of COVID because remember I, I my punches all the punches I had on my phone when I went to yeah. Dallas I shut down shut all the down punches all the drugs I don't sell drugs. I gave punches to other people like yo, if you want some bug, call it like that, call over there. I I, I did that. Did, yeah. And and yeah. that was that. So the beginning of COVID, right? No cigarettes or nothing. We yeah, I used to sell everything, cigarettes. nigga. Cigars, Cigars nigga. If you needed an extra do rag, I'll sell you one. But tissue? I just tissue, whatever. I shut it down. Shut so shit um, down. it was like a neighborhood bodega. Yeah. But so, but when I sold drugs yeah, and was yeah. out there, that's what I did. I monitor the kids. I'm outside, nigga. Like, hey, yo, y'all, your bugger. Hey, yo, take the take this money. Y'all niggas go to the store, get y'all something, do this. Ah, ah. I police the neighborhood, like whatever neighborhood I lived in, anywhere. So, cause I'm outside all the time, and yo, I, I get it. Like, I'm gonna do what I gotta do for my community, even though I'm I know I sell back. drugs. I give back. Like, ain't no like even the neighborhood I live now. When I was hustling, like. Ain't nobody get the kids more than me. No. Every time they seen me, not just that nigga, nigga might go to the me. supermarket, right? And get sodas and snacks and bring everything out there. Giving books, remember? All that shit. Like, pulling up, giving books, school supplies, all that shit. And then, um... This shit supplies. just went... Well, I, like I always say, man, like... So you know, y'all know I love Deuce. Deuce, y'all know I love Deuce. Like, like she like, my Deuce own. Like that's my jail. Yeah, you know when Deuce tell me something like, "Hey, nigga, hey, I think about you going to jail. Like, what if, like, what if you get into something, man? You could get killed because anything could happen. Like, what's I up? You want, you want to change your life, nigga? Like, Deuce hit me with, I'm like, shit, I'm just start thinking of this, I and then I was stressed. When we left New York, she yeah. thought things would change too. Yeah. Like, oh, we ain't gotta worry about it. Cause I get crazy with selling drugs, nigga. Like, um, y'all ever heard me say, um, in that bar, 
Um, I got the know-how. Well, I just vacuum his coke all in the rug. Blow the system. I'm using every plug. Got the know-how to sell every drug. That's what the fuck I did. Coke all in the rug. I just vacuum his coke all in the... Nah, for real, though. So, um... I don't know what happened to the days of the drug dealers and the niggas out there doing the dirt. Yes. Beating like, son up before he even got the hood. What you doing over here? What the fuck is you doing? Leave them kids alone, nigga. to the spot. That's all you heard is, what the fuck is you doing? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to today. Yeah. So, um, and stick around, too, because cuz going to pull up at some point, gang, and we might get some good overtime in. Y'all know how we do.